Hey guys, welcome back to my video. As you can see right here, I'm using the Hey7M. I received this cube about, I'd say, two, two and a half weeks ago. What you're watching right now is a 404 plus 2, so it's 406. This is my overall PB and PB on cam. So I'm really happy about it. And I tried a little bit harder that night to get some sub fours that didn't end up happening but I hope this does just as well anyway the basics in the cube are that the price is pretty good at seventy dollars it may be sixty but sixty or seventy it's still a really great price the size is pretty nice and the weight is also pretty good it's pretty light and the size doesn't feel as or smaller than my Wuji, but I wouldn't say it feels bigger either. It's pretty nice and right in between. The turning is buttery smooth, very fast, just like you'd expect from Yushin. I was a little bit disappointed by the magnet strength because they were pretty weak, and I had to do a little bit of messing around with the tensions to be able to uh, get it to my liking. During the solves, I experienced very minimal locking. Um, I haven't had one pop yet, which is amazing. And I guess this is definitely a step up for 7x7 hardware and Yushin in general. So I'm really happy to say that this cube is amazing. If you're thinking about getting it, I highly recommend it. If you're not really into 7x7 but want to get into it, I think a Wuji, even non-magnetic, would do just fine. But the Haze 7M is definitely something you should totally consider. So thinking about if you're averaging where I average or even faster, this cube is definitely the cube for you. Now, I want to get into some things that are some downsides about this cube. So first, mine didn't come with extra springs or magnets, which is a little bit disappointing. I know it's not the biggest of deals, but I just expect from a very premium cube and such the hype around it which I'll get into in a little bit that it would come with everything that is essential to setting this cube up and if anything did go wrong I could remagnetize it or put new ball bearings and spring or sorry springs and washers also quick disclaimer I want to apologize for just my voice and speaking it's just like it's weird kind of talking to the camera I haven't done it before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I want your feedback, so definitely give me my feedback. Anyway, back to the review. So as I was saying, there's a lot of hype around this cube, and the re release date, I believe, was back in May, and it finally got released in August, and people started receiving it around September. This review is coming out a little bit late relative to when it was released and when a lot of the general public got it, but top speed cubers like Felix, Kevin, and Max Park had this cube way before anybody else did. Anyway, I hope this gave you some insight on what to look for in your 7x7 and hopefully gave you some advice if you're thinking about getting the Hayes 7, which I highly recommend. It is a little bit hard to control with some silk, lubricant 1, and DNM, all some of the cubicles budget lubes and some of the best make this cube s silky, smooth, and fast. I hope you guys enjoy this review, and yeah, you can watch the rest of the solve and the horrible plus too. Oh, but yes. <laughs> PB on cam, like overall PB, but it's a plus two. I don't care. It's still PB.